All right, guys, I'm doing a suspension upgrade on this XJ. And I wanted to show you some things that I've run across that I haven't found mentioned anywhere else on any of these others. These bushings on these Bilsteins with the bar pin. I'm using, I'm gonna do a bar pin eliminator. And in order to do that, you gotta get this pin out of there. And from the best I can tell, these pins are fused or, or what's the word? There's another word for it, but to this bushing and you can't get it out on its own. So I had to use this um, ball joint press and the adapter set. This piece here was kind of helpful on one. The other, I just pressed it out through the end. Um, so this may or may not be helpful, but pressing the bearing back in was helpful with this piece. Or I mean the bushing, pushing, pu pu pressing the bushing in. So for that, so if you get the ball joint press, also get the adapter set to go with it. It was like 305 bucks uh, for the rental. And once I return, I get all that back. But this bushing comes out all together. So I found these online. They look like they would fit. And so this is the energy suspension 9.8107G. They're like six bucks at AutoZone. That's pretty much as cheap as I could find them anywhere. And I'm gonna have to go get another set, but they look like they fit quite well. It's pretty snug. It goes in pretty well. He greased it up a little bit to get it back in there. So the next problem I ran into was on the Jeep itself. I'll show you that. So what I found is on this perch right here for the shock, I'm gonna take this one off. If I just set this eliminator on here, there's no way I'm getting that bolt through there. There's no way. I tried doing it this way with the other side, still can't get the nut in. So what I ended up doing was making these. You could come up with anything you want. This is about six millimeters worth of thickness. So once I put these together, set that on there. Now I can get the bolt through it. I'll just snug this up. I tried putting a, another washer on this to make it a little bit thicker, but I didn't like how little thread I had coming out the nut on the bottom. So I think it's actually better this way. All right, just snug that up. So you see I got the bolt there and I can get the nut on the back side and get it started. So now what I'll have to do is just use a wrench to hold that on the back side, tighten this up here, and that'll be the shock perch with the, with the bar pin eliminator. But I had to space this up in order to get anything on that back side of that. So I don't know if it's just the particular brand of bar pin eliminator that I bought. It's these Azumkas. They're like 20 bucks a set on Amazon. Let's see if I can get the part number here. So yeah, anyway, that's gonna be the fun figuring out. I haven't seen this mentioned anywhere else on any other video, so just thought I'd share that with y'all. Hope it helps somebody. Bye.